Thank you for tuning in today. I hope you enjoyed this video and welcome to another instrumental education. Uh, that is the show where I educate you on an instrument that I own. And today's instrument is one that I love and I haven't had the time to really incorporate it into what is the cat doing? She's pooping. She's pooping over there. So, if you hear any scratching, it's not me. Okay, so, what this instrument is, is it's an instrument that is a percussion instrument. And, um, my beautiful girlfriend, Angel, she, you saw her on the channel a couple weeks ago, she bought this for me for my birthday that just passed, so back in November. And it was a great surprise. I really, 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 really wanted one of these things, and it was the, honestly the last thing I expected. And when I saw it, I was like, whoa, that's awesome. Uh, I hope she didn't pay too much. Angel, I really hope you didn't pay too, too, too much for this. But I love it every day. And I haven't had the opportunity yet to use it in much. Although, I made a new jingle. And you might, you know, once you see it, you might recognize what it sounds. But I haven't shown you it yet. So, without further ado, for, further, to, further ado. Here it is. Boom. Now, if you're wondering in, what in the hell is that, and also if you're wondering what the song is, it's called Rob the President by that handsome devil. Uh, came on in Rock Band 2. I loved it. Uh, anyways, so what this instrument is, is it's called a tongue drum. Now, Tongue drums have been a lot around for quite a long time. They used to be, um, well this is more specifically, uh, yeah, no, this is a, a steel tongue drum. I think it's steel, I'm pretty sure it's steel. It's metal, and on it, you see right here, hold on, let me show. You see right here, all these are different notes. So, I'm gonna just pause the music for one sec. Now, in order to play this instrument, you need mallets. So these are just some wooden mallets that look very nice with some rubber tips. Now they're not too hard, but this is what it sounds like. Wow, very pretty. Very pretty. Um, and you know, it's basically a tongue drum and you use this as a percussion instrument for various for various things um, I haven't had the opportunity to use it much yet in like a, a, a band setting and creating songs but it is very beautiful and sometimes I just you know I, I, I just play it I pull it out and just just make some nice melodies it's very relaxing it's very calm sound um, and it's very beautiful the sound is really nice like I don't know if you can really hear the true sound of this thing from where you are, but it is a very, very nice thing. Now, it's actually pretty light, um, but it's weird um, how it's built because um, you might not hear it on the camera, but when I hit it, it's got a lot of vibration. That might have been really loud for you, but it's like very loud. Like, you, it's, it's like a naturally amplified instrument. Uh, and that's because, you know, it's, it's hollow inside. There's nothing inside. These are all different tongues, as they put it, uh, and the tongues are different pitches. And then they have a, a resonator hole here, um, like, and that lets more of the sound out and allows air to go out as well. Um, so, the tongue drum originates, uh, well basically what the tongue drum is, is it's based on the wooden slit drum. So I'll put some photos here, it's wooden slit drum. And the slit drum was known to have been developed um, by multiple ancient civilizations, uh, such as the Africans, the Aztecs, and the Indonesians. Um, and they were both uh, they were used for both ritual and entertainment uh, in these civilizations. 
the steel drum today, uh, it's it's uh, like this uh, is obviously much more um, you know much more well designed, and you know the notes are much more clear. Back then, it was you know this is like quite a far away from the original things, as you can probably see by the photo. Um, but most notably, the whale drum is the closest thing to what this is. Uh, which was built by Jim Dobble and uh, the Tam Tambiro by Philip Ve oh, Okay, sorry, that's a different one. The Whale Drum in 1990 by Jim Dobble, and then there's the Tambiro by Phil, uh, Phil, Vega, Phil Vega. And then in 2007, Dennis Haviana, inspired the, by the physical properties of the Tambiro and the tone layout of the hang, created a steel tongue drum with a circular cross pattern layout from an empty 20 pound propane tank and that came the Hank drum which is very close to this now it's not necessarily it's, it's pretty much a Hank drum it's kind of hard to tell but this is basically a Hank drum which came from the combination of hang and tank and I mean it, you know it's the hang you're like you know it's a it, he probably hung the tank and the tank comes from the propane tank that he used um, but that's where it comes from, and in turn, this has inspired a lot of different things. So the photos I see here on um, the place I'm looking at, they don't have the middle tone, whereas now they have the middle tone. Uh, the Hank drum also doesn't have the middle tone. Now they do. So this, these inventions, these inventions of these two percussive instruments, has de like uh, developed and evolved into this one. And today there are a lot of vendors with a bunch of different types. I, I don't exactly know who made this one. Let me just go look it up quickly. Because I looked it up. Tongue drum. Now it's called a tongue drum, which is it's, it's cool. Um, where was it here? Okay, the one that kind of looks like the one I have that came with the bag as well. It looks like it's called an Aklot steel drum. Uh, 10 inch 11 notes so there's their 11 notes let's count 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 hold on which one did I start on <laughs> 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 yeah so it's 11 note 10 inch so that's what it is that's from the company Aklot uh, you can get one on Amazon for uh, well thank you uh, Angel it's a little pricey but not bad a hundred a hundred uh, dollars if you ever are interested uh, so that's the history of the tongue drum so it's a very brief history because, you know, it originated as most instruments originated as communication devices. And then as these communication devices were used, they kind of realized we can, you know, entertain with this. This makes other noises than just, you know, communicating. And in turn, through decades and decades of, you know, making new, uh, developing and evolving, we have turned to this, the steel tongue drum. So, uh, basically, construct the, the, the silt drums were originally built out of hollowed out logs or bamboo. Uh, but the steel tank drum is made from steel. So, obviously, since it's a steel tank drum. And uh, is often built from 20-gallon propane tanks. Well, this is obviously not from a 20-gallon propane tank. This is specifically designed uh, piece of metal that is now this. But this was... The, we're talking about the history still. This is when those drums were created. So if I look up silt drums, I'll show you uh, what they are. But basically, what I can see here is literally it looks like a log with two holes in it, hollowed out, and then there's sticks, and they play, uh, play. Uh, yeah, I guess they play kind of like two wooden sticks on top of these holes, and it makes. Um, Excuse me. It makes uh, a noise. But this is clearly a lot better. Um, so yeah, this is this is it. This is the steel tongue drum. That's all the history I have on it. There's not much history, but it's um, it's a very cool instrument. Uh, I don't I I don't know exactly what key it is in. But what these are usually used for tongue drums is they are usually used for um, religious activities or meditation, yoga, uh, a lot of the, the first place I ever saw it was in this place where it was um, like it was a crystal shop 
and very like like um, you know there's just a bunch of different things like fairy stuff and Wicca, Wicca and uh, you know peaceful meditation stuff and candles and a very nice store my girlfriend loves all those stores and I saw one that was red and I really loved the sound and I that's where my girlfriend you know I was I was mesmerized by the sound I was like wow that's such a peaceful relaxing sound and then sure enough I ended up getting one on my birthday so thank you my darling uh, so I'm right now I'm just gonna play a little bit for you uh, see, it's kind of weird because I can. I, I'll hold it here. I'll play with him. You know. So this is what it sounds like. Um, it's a beautiful sound. It really is a beautiful sound. It's probably not doing it justice through this, but it's a very, very peaceful sound. And when I feel it, uh, when I play it, I just feel so zen, man. And this is why it's oftentimes used in meditation and yoga, because oftentimes, you know, um, I haven't done any yoga, but I've seen from uh, TV shows and stuff like that, usually there's like a, and then they perform the next move. Uh, of the yoga uh, exercise and then they do another one you know and it's very relaxing and like I've walked into a lot of stores like those you know crystal shop stores and candle stores or whatever they are and they oftentimes have music like that so it's very it's meant to be relaxing um, but me being me I'm trying to incorporate this into my band and incorporate it into the world of music that I love um, so yeah, and there's been a lot of different, uh, you know, uh, ideas of, well, not different ideas, sorry, there's been a lot of different uses for this, but the primary use is in these meditation places or religious ceremonies and stuff like that. So, that's it. This is it. This is the tongue drum, steel tongue drum. I don't know if this is steel. I'm pretty sure this is steel. Uh, so this is an Aklot steel drum, 10-inch, 11-note tank drum with C. This is in the key of C with the drum, mallets, and, uh, you know, there's finger mallets. I didn't like the finger mallets as well, plus the gig bag. It comes with the bag. Nice bag. So, you know, nice bag. Um, and you can have it delivered by May 22nd if you really want. Um, but, yeah, it's a ten, it is, so it is steel, ten, uh, steel, steel. So that's all I wanted to know. Uh... It's also used, interestingly, for early childhood enlightenment and physical and mental healing. Uh, I do know that when I play this thing, man, do I feel so freaking relaxed. Like... All right, that's it. Thank you for tuning in today. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you want a steel drum, you can go buy one on Amazon. They're freaking cool. If you're a percussionist, uh, uh, per percussion instrument. If you're a percussionist or uh, 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 some uh, a drummer, or just someone who likes interesting instruments and or wants to try a new instrument, get it. It's easy to play. All the tones are written here. Obviously, uh, there's seven. Well, there's you know eight notes in the scale and. One of the notes is the tonic. Well, obviously this is C, and then C, D, E, F, uh, five, G, uh, sorry, where's A? Uh, six. There you go. <laughs> six. <laughs> sorry. A, uh, B, and C. Then it goes to the seven with the dot, because the, so, you know, you see that? So it starts at the one. And it goes through all those notes. Um, and there's a couple other notes there. There's, uh, it's not 
bass on the C scale because there's 11 notes. Um, so if you're starting in C, there's probably a couple of half steps in there as well. So there you go. There you have it. If you want a cool instrument to check out, go check it out. Go listen to it. There's not much history on it. I told you the history. Um, but it's pretty cool. And thank you, Angel. I love this instrument. And I will always um, think of you when playing it. So without further ado, thank you for tuning in today. Keep on tuning into Tunage. Remember to like, follow, subscribe, and all that fun stuff. Um, um, just a reminder, I, I know I mentioned it a couple times already, but I just want to make sure no one's getting confused, being like, hey, where's my video on the week? Huh? Ah? Uh, I'm supposed to have three, uh, three videos uh, every week. No. I'm doing two videos every week and one weekend video. Because I was going crazy trying to put a bunch of stuff out. So... Thank you for tuning in. Remember to always stay tuned to Tunage. Bye bye. And go listen, go play, go get a steel drum because they're freaking cool and relaxing. And you know what? It's really fun to play. Have a good day. We'll see you soon. And uh, we'll be back on some day of the week with a music rec on deck. Thank you for watching. Tunage. Yeah.